Dr. Paul here. This is just a little thing, but I think it's worth you having a look at it. This is a baby who has a finding on their eyes that might alarm parents, and there's no need to be alarmed, so let's go take a look. Is it fair to say you idolize this baby? Oh, what are you being today? Weird? Ah, he's being weird. Well, let's go take a look. Cut from your cloth, man. <laughs> So how old is this little one? Two weeks old. Two weeks old. So what I wanted our viewers to see, if you look at the eyes, you will see there's the white of the eye. Both of them have a little rim of red oh, that you can kind of see. There we go. Now, Viewers might also see something that we hadn't shown you before, Mom. You see the reflection of my light in the eyeball? Yeah. It's not exactly on the same spot on each eye. Okay. Now that's okay at this age. I mean, we're just two weeks old. So I wouldn't necessarily expect the eyes to be tracking perfectly. For the purposes of our video today, I wanted people to see the little rim of red. It's actually around both eyes. This other eye has a little rim of red too. And that is a subconjunctival hemorrhage, which is super common. It's just a little more noticeable in this one. So I thought it'd be a good, a good example for people to see. Um, was this C-section or regular? So a vaginal delivery, babies go through this process we call labor, right? <laughs> it's like, uh, it's tough. They are forced out of a tight spot. So when you put push a baby through, there's just pressure. I mean, you can almost think if they have a cord around, was there a cord around the neck by any chance? Yes, I believe there was one. Oh, yeah. yeah, so you're almost like strangulated oh, when you- Bless you. You're almost strangulated when you have a cord around the neck and you can just pop those blood vessels. So it's subconjunctival hemorrhage. It will go away by itself. Absolutely nothing you need to do about it. And I wanted you guys to see that because people learn. Because <laughs> people learn. On YouTube. So <laughs> gratitude, thank you for sharing Absolutely. this. This is helpful for our folks. Um, what I was showing you about the, the reflection of the light in the eyes though, that's a whole separate thing, which is not a concern at this age. So right now, if you look at the, the little white dot reflection from my flashlight, it's pretty centered. At that moment, it was pretty centered. Here, let me hold the head. It's pretty centered on the pupil, which is the black part of the eye. But as I move the light and the eyes track to follow it, sometimes in newborns and two week olds and one month olds, it's not in the same place. There we go. You're so attentive. You're so attentive. Yes, you are. All right. I'm gonna do a quick drawing. Here, Mama, I'll let you have. Her. What I'm talking about is you've got two eyes and a nose and a pupil. If the eye is reflecting smack dab on both, that is normal. Now, as this person looks this way, this eyeball goes near the nose, and this one might not be so far into this corner that you might go, oh, they're cross-eyed. But if the reflection is on the same spot relative to the pupil, that's perfect. Oh. That's where the eyes are tracking together. Newborns, two week olds, even one month olds, they don't track together much. They do some, but not all the time. That was my pearl for the day. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Paul. <laughs>